Hey YouTube, what's up? Aquila here again. A little late on the video this week, but I was waiting to pick up a piece of merchandise that I'm very excited about that I wanted to do the video for this week and uh, ended up working some some late hours, so didn't get to pick it up the day I wanted to. I uh, had to go a day late, so. But that's okay. I'm here now and so is it. We're gonna get into it. Before we jump into this unboxing, if you could like, follow, on Instagram and subscribe here on YouTube. That would be awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll do the, do the whole thing, post it around um, as usual. <clears throat> Excuse me. So really, really exciting. My first helmet, my first Star Wars helmet. Uh, I can't wait to be really weird and annoying and wear this uh, just at inappropriate times or whatever. Um, it is a Black Series uh, item. It's a Star Wars Black Series incinerator stormtrooper from the mandalorian um it's the helmet for that so it does say on the box that it has a voice changer from the reviews that i've read uh allegedly that doesn't work very well but we're going to find out uh here and i did on the box it says triple a batteries so i grabbed myself some triple a's and a couple of screwdrivers just in case they are needed to secure uh, remove the plate and secure the batteries inside of the helmet so um you know Got ourselves the incinerator stormtrooper helmet. It looks like it had, you know, it's supposed to have some weathering on it, so that's kind of cool. Um, I've grown a bit impatient with a custom Mandalorian helmet that I've ordered. Uh, it's been about nine weeks, and we're still working on that. So, in the meantime, I've ordered this. I've ordered another Black Series helmet um, just because they were both on sale, and so that one actually shipped. This one I had to go pick up. Um, so. Look forward to that video for the next one, but we'll see how this one goes. We'll see if it's comfy. Um, one of the things that people never post in reviews is if you can fit, you know, your head in a helmet with glasses on. That's something that is important to me because I have a massive phobia of putting contacts in my eyes. So I do have smaller glasses, but for the sake of this, I'll probably just put it on without, and then just try to see if I can get it on with, depending on how much room is in there. Um, you know, you could always alter foam or anything inside the helmet if needed to be able to do that. So, uh, without any more, uh, any, any, anything else here, I'm, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this sucker open, open it up and see how, see how it fits. Check out the quality and all the above. So, Star Wars The Black Series Incinerator Stormtrooper Helmet Unboxing. Um, I guess I can read the blurb off the back of the box. Realistically detailed. Screen-inspired reproduction of an incinerator stormtrooper's helmet. And then it just says that over and over and over and over again in different languages. So you thought I was going to read the big paragraph, didn't you? It's okay, I did too. stringers in here for protection. This appears to be the top. This out of the way. There we go. So front and back. And we have ourselves a top. Box. Just another stringer for protection. Box is empty. Everything seems to be individually wrapped in plastic. Not seen. Okay. Paperwork here. It's exciting. So it's a nice finish to it. Um, yeah, it's plastic. Soft, nice and smooth. Um, looks like there is some kind of a minor visual defects on there from clanging around and shipping, probably at some point, but nothing noticeable. <clears throat> I'm sure really looking for it. There you go. So, it's got kind of a 
snapback type fasteners on here. Okay, so, yeah. You have the intimidating face of the incinerator trooper, which is pretty cool. At some point I'm gonna have to find where the, where the batteries go on this thing, but there's the inside. lid there too. Does fit over my dome. Got a relatively large head. So that's nice. Okay. There's the back. Pretty simple. So yeah, there's a removable plate like one Phillips screw holding the battery compartment on there so good guess by me to grab that and what do we have here find it in English or Spanish caution batteries you know some battery safety information and then we have our little instruction booklet on how to put the batteries in, how to tighten and assemble the helmet. So there's a button on the side to do the voice changing. That's nice. Let's see if I can go ahead and not mess this up. Okay. We'll put the batteries in. Yes, three triple A's. That's what it takes. Just like the box said. So that's what I grabbed. One, two, and three. Okay, we can put our battery cover back on. Tighten it down. Using a number two screwdriver, probably better to use number one. Number one appears like it's the right size. Okay. And put the back back on. And look at that, the batteries are hidden. They are hidden. Okay, so that's done. How do I look? Okay, so that looks like it works, at least for now. So it does fit with my glasses on. I might want to alter the nose piece if that's what I was going to truly do. I don't know if I was going to, you know, wear it with, with glasses. Take this, I'll pop them off. And I'll have plenty of room in here. And I can hear my own echo. And that turns it on and off. So you don't have to hold the button so you can hear my, my voice as well. Too. That's interesting. I don't know how well that sounds, it just sounds like an echo. Um, Very nice, uh, you know, not 501 first quality or anything, but you know, Black Series makes makes some good stuff, and that's all well and good. Here we go, fully assembled now. It's a little, a little snug with the lid on.
There you have it. I am a stormtrooper. So, um, you definitely want to play around with the, the fit to get it so that you're, you know, you're lined up with the eyes. Um, you can see it's probably going to fog up in here pretty easily. And let's go with the voice changer again. Hey, the quail here. My voice is echoing. So, not too bad. You know, pretty warm in there. As it would be, it's a helmet. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> Certainly going to have a lot of fun with that. And, you know, step in direction towards eventually doing some cosplay for the first time. All Star Wars related, of course, to start with. Um, so yeah, that's, that's helmet number one. Uh, the, the plastic straps that tighten and secure it. I'm going to want to, you know, play around with those until I get the right feel. I'll probably throw my smaller glasses on. Um, I'll have to look into the video of me wearing it just now, but um, the, the visor, the eye visors are not that dark, so you can probably see my face in there. And I might want to you know, darken those up a little bit, but overall, really cool, very happy. Um, with the Incinerator Stormtrooper Black Series helmet, uh, it's a lot of fun and really excited about it. So, um, you know, if you like the video and you want to see more as I, as I keep doing this, Make sure that you, you like and subscribe and then head on over to Instagram and follow me there as I often post um, photos of whatever my baby Yodas are up to or some, some lightsaber stuff or and even stuff like this. So um, a lot of fun. Really excited that I bought it. I did get this for $75 um, through GameStop actually. So, um, you know, overall, it's, it's not perfect. It's not movie quality or anything like that, but very wearable electronic helmet. You can hear that, that button. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, I think I think it retails for a hundred, but you know, I I waited until it went on sale, and that worked out for me. We got it for seventy five bucks. So yeah, thanks for stopping by, and see you next time.